first question okay Rowena buy a jacket for 40 and sell it for 45.4 so the 40 is actually the original price whereby the 45 is a new one so 40 times 100 plus unknown the unknown here is the profit okay bracket percentage equals to 45.4 so run the calculation then we get the percentage as 13.5 percent she sell a dress for 42.6 after making a profit of 20 percent so you are required to find the cost price the cost price here is the original times 120 percent equals to 42.6 so you run the calculation, you get 35.5 as the cost price. Sarah invests 50 for 15 years at a rate of 2% per year simple interest. So 500 times 15 times 2%, you will earn 150. So for the next one, Thomas has two car, so decrease exponentially. So this is a compound interest, okay? So after five years, so 21,000 times 100 minus 18% to the power of five. So round it to the nearest hundred dollar. So seven is at the position of the hundred mark. And then you look it backwards, okay, at the eight. So 8 is more than 5, so you are required to round it up into 7,800. For next question, increase exponentially by x percent per year. So 15 times 100 plus x bracket percent to the power of 12 equals to 42190. So you run the calculation, then you will get x percent as 9%. Question 4, pretty straightforward, simply key in the x into the respective formula, then you get 4 point as 1, 16, 14 and 12. So you draw it out okay, at the graph given as below. So use your graph to solve the following equation 2 to the power of x equals to 12 So you can, I'll, I've shown you two methods here Either you can just refer back to the graph you have drawn okay, And check uh, where did it land it Or alternatively you can actually use the uh, logarithm to find the results okay? Whereby for part 2 Okay, simply find the interception point, then you get the results.
For part D, draw a point that has gradient of negative 4. Okay, so for this one, I simply uh, set up two points okay, to find the respective value. Okay, so my y is actually 10 and my x is actually 2. Okay, so by joining them up, then I will construct the tangent line okay, at the point 2, 10. Question 3a. So this is actually a positive correlation scattered diagram. Okay, the line of best fit means that we are required to join as much point as possible when constructing this line. Okay, so there's an acceptable range. So if your answer is different with mine, it's fine. So find and estimate that chemistry marks for another student who has a physics marks of 4. So I round it out, then I will get 2 as the results. Whereby for part B, the first question, mode. So numbers of days that has the most frequency is actually zero. So the mode is zero. Whereby for you to find the median, okay, there's 24 students, then you divide it by two, then you get 12. So you require to find the 12 frequency where does it fall in. So it's actually fall in the numbers of day, number one. Whereby for you to find the respective mean simply takes the numbers of days times frequency, repeat it for 0 to number 5 day, then divide by 24 to get the results of 1.04. Whereby for question C, okay, first you are required to find the midpoint, okay, then take the midpoint multiplied by the numbers of x so divide by 420, which is the total x so. So results will actually be 60.91 gram.
So the next part, frequency density. Okay, frequency density is actually frequency divided by class width. Okay, so just take the respective frequency divided by the class interval given. Okay, so for example, for the first one, just take 78 divided by 52 minus 46, then you get 30. So at 30, you draw out the histogram. So repeat it for the next medium and large, then you're able to solve this question. Question 4, okay, so find the probability that two cards have the same numbers, okay, so for number 1, okay, so there's 2 over 5 times 1 over 4, because the keyword here is without replacement, whereby for 2, for you to get 2 2 cards, it's actually 3 over 5 times 2 over 4, so add this results together, then you get 2 over 5. Whereby the next question, Jojo replaces 2 cards, okay? Then choose 1 card at random from set A and 1 card at random from set B. Find the probability, find the probability that the 2 cards has the same number. So for you to get 1 from set A and set B, it's actually 2 over 5 times 3 over 5. Whereby for, for you to get thing number 2, it's actually 3 over 5 times 1 over 5. So add these results together, then you get 9 over 25. Who is likely to choose two cards that has the same numbers? Okay, so by running the comparison, Jojo has more chance to have the same numbers. Whereby for set C, Lena choose three cards at random from set C without replacement. Find the probability that third card chosen is number 4. So this one is actually, I write down all the possible combination which is 554, 544 and 454. Okay, and input it without replacement. So for number 1 is 3 over 5, 2 over 4 and 2 over 3. But for number 2 is actually 3 over 5, 2 over 4, 1 over 3. And number 3 is 2 over 5, 3 over 4, 1 over 3. So multiply it all together, then add them up. Your final results will actually be 2 over 5. Question 5a, okay, so the numbers of adults and children was given, however the price wasn't. So just simply takes 1000, simply takes 18,500 times x plus 2400 times x minus 2.5. So after you run the calculation, then you get the results of 15.6. Bye. 
We have for part B, factorize it. So 12 times 7 is then you will get 84. Then cross multiple them, then you get 12y and 7y. So now you're required to key in the signage to make it into 5y. So it's actually a positive 12y minus 7y. So fill up the table above. So y plus 12, y minus 7 is the final results. So the area of the rectangle is 84. So you just take y times y plus 5, then you get 84. So by running a calculation, you will get that uh, there's two possible outcomes, which is y equals to negative 12 and y equals to 7. So for perimeter, there's no negative sign. Okay, so simply take y equals to 7. Okay, key it in and find the perimeter. Part C, okay, the price of the monthly magazine is M and the price of the weekly magazine is M minus 0.75. So one day the shop received 168 from monthly magazine and 207 for selling weekly magazine. And the total numbers of magazines so this day is 100. So it simply takes 168 divided by M plus 207 over m minus 0 0.75 equals to 100. So by running the calculation, okay, then you will get 100m square minus 450m plus 126. However, you are required to prove this formula above. So you just divide all the integers by 2, then you will prove the equation. Whereby for part 2, so simply identify the A, B and C. In our case, A is actually 50, B is actually negative 225, C is actually 63. And substitute it into the formula, negative B plus minus square root B square minus 4AC over 2A. So you can either key this entire thing into your calculator to get the results or alternatively you can just use the equation inside your calculator okay so just press mode press equation then choose the one that fit in this one so it's actually the third option and substitute the abc's value into it then you will get the final results as 4.2 or 0.3 so 0 0.3 is totally out because if you take 0 0.3 minus 0 0.75, you will get negative, so which is not possible. So the results will actually be 4.2. So 6a, okay. So key things here is ADC is an equilateral triangle. So which means that the angle they have will actually be the same. So 180 divided by 3, then you get 60 and 60 and 60. Okay. 
So first thing that I did was I would find angle BAC. Okay, it's the ejection and opposite has already been given. So simply run the calculation. Okay, which is tangent inverse, then you get it as 26.57. However, for the next one, okay, we are looking at EAD. Okay, it's hypotenuse and opposite has been given. So you are using sine inverse. Okay, then you get 30 as the result. So for you to get BAE, simply add these three variables that you just gotten. To, then you will get 116.57. Okay, for you to calculate A, B, okay, so simply take uh, 12 square plus 6 square, then square root it. So the results will actually be 6 square root 5 or 13.42 cm. Whereby for you to calculate A, E, okay, repeat the same thing. Okay, 12 square minus 6 square and then square root it again then you get 6 square root 3 or 10.39 Find the area of the pentagon So I actually split this uh, shape into three parts Okay And all of them I'm using the So for one of them I'm using half AB sine C Which is the triangle ADC So add them all up Then we get 129.53 So for part B, write down the plane of symmetry. So I've included a photo here and you can just refer to it. So the results will actually be 3. Whereby for you to calculate angle between diagonal AR with the plane BCRQ. Okay. So you're required to find BR first. So the results will actually be square root 41. So with the information given, AB is actually 8. Okay, so use tangent inverse, then you get 51.33. Whereby for 7a, okay, first thing first, pi r squared, then you get one circle of it, the area, then multiply by 8, okay, then 
for one hour, how many seconds is there? It's actually 60 times 60. So multiply it all up, then divide by 1000 to convert it into liters. So the results will actually be 203.58. Okay, for part B number one, so show the total surface area of the cone. So the base is actually pi r square, which is pi times six square, plus pi times six times twelve, which is the slant height. Okay, so add them all up, then you get one hundred and eight pi. Find the value of x and y. Okay. So 108 pi equals to 4 pi r square. So the r square here is actually x square. Okay. So x square equals to 108 pi over 4 pi. So square root 27. Then you get 3 square root 3, which results in 5.2. But for the next one, okay. 108 pi equals to half times 4 times pi times y squared. So this one is actually the area of a sphere. Okay, however, the shape is actually hemisphere. So you're required to multiply an additional 1 over 2 into it. Then plus the base, which is pi r squared. So in our case, it would convert it into pi y squared. So run the calculation, then you get y's results as 6. Question 8, part 1. So I've actually shown you uh, the workings. So part 1, I won't do any explanation for that. Part 2 pretty straightforward, just add them up, then get the results. Part 3, also the same thing, the results will be 4812. But for part 4, find the inverse. So just take 2 times 3 minus 1 times 4. Then you will get 2. So 1 over 2 bracket. 3 and 2 you change their place. 1 and 4 you multiply by negative 1.
Okay, so describe the single transformation represented by the matrix. So it is a rotation from the point of origin with a 90 degree and the clockwise. Okay. Uh, this one you can actually memorize it. So I'm actually preparing the video already. I will upload it as soon as possible. Whereby for part 9a key thing here is perpendicular okay, to the line so we're looking at its gradient which is 1 over 2 times the new line that's perpendicular to it equals to negative 1 so your gradient for the new line will actually be negative 2 so y equals to negative 2x plus c substitute the point 1 3 into it and you get c's results as 5 so the line itself will actually be y equals to negative 2x plus 5 Okay, whereby for part B, find the three inequalities that define region R. So we're looking at the straight line first. So the answer will actually be Y is actually less than or equals to 5. X is actually more than or equals to 2. And then I use two points okay, from the line, the last line there, and find their gradient. So their gradient is actually 1 over 2. So the results will actually be y equals to x over 2. Okay, however, for you to fulfill the requirement, so the results will actually be y more than equals to x over 2. So find the point x which the integers in the region are such that 3x plus 5y equals to 35. So there's only one combination that can fulfill this requirement which is when x is 5 and y is 4 then you multiply them together to get 35 Question 10 Okay, this is actually the function question okay, I'll show you all the workings here you can just refer to it and solve the question. The only tricky part is in part B. Okay, let's move on to it. Calculate H 0.3, give your answer in two decimal. Okay, so all you need to do is to take 0 0.3 to the power of 0.3, then you get 0 0.6968. So two decimal, we're looking at the numbers behind 9, which is 6. Since it is more than 5, so you round it up, then you get 0 0.7. Okay, 5 hx equals to 256 
So 256 is actually 4 to the power of 4. So x results will actually be 4. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Feel free to share this to your friend that's struggling on solving all this past year. So I wish you all the best in your upcoming examination and thank you for watching.